our tribute, our admiration, our sincere understanding and appreciation of their great role in the life of our nation. For the benefit of our local listeners on the Pacific Coast, the USS Macon is now heading north. Tune in at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight for another direct communication broadcast from the Macon. Bill Goodwin speaking.
Sound of the Century. The first American-built Zeppelin was the Shenandoah, daughter of the star. The wreckage of this $2 million ship docked the Ohio countryside. After a sudden squall tore her apart in midair, 14 were killed, 27 miraculously escaped. In 1924, the Los Angeles joined the Navy. Soon she was performing remarkable feats, like this carrier landing. But look where she drops her ballast. Two and a half times the size of World War I Zeppelins, the Los Angeles settles down snugly. Now this graceful dirigible heads for her seagoing mooring mast on the airship tender USS Patoka. During nine years of active service, the Los Angeles amassed a perfect safety record. America began construction of the Mammoth Akron, almost twice the size of the Graf Zeppelin, which had been the biggest airship up to that time. Here was a ship of the skies as huge as the great ships of the sea, dwarfing the men who worked upon her. Side by side, the completed Akron towered over the Los Angeles. In this glistening airship, Man's fondest dreams of lighter-than-air travel seemed to have come through. She could be used as an aircraft carrier with planes like tiny gnats hooking on and dropping off from trapeze arrangements attached to her great underbelly. But the Akron seemed marked for disaster from the beginning. In 1932, while she was attempting to moor, a gust of wind swept her skyward so suddenly that three men of her ground crew were pulled high into the air. of one man loosened, and he fell to his death. The second man followed him to destruction, but the third crewman hung on and was saved. Shortly afterward, the Akron passed above New York City, seeming to glide over the tops of the buildings below. She was only 17 months old when, with a crew of 76 aboard, she moved out to sea to her doom in a storm. Bits of wreckage marked her resting place. Her sister ship, the Macon, already under construction when the Akron was lost, followed her into service. Mooring an airship as big as a skyscraper tipped on its side was a ticklish job. The Macon hadn't yet reached her second birthday when she journeyed out into the Palm Sur, California to maneuver with the fleet in the Pacific. into the sea, thus ending a tragic chapter in aviation, another milestone of the century.